In this video you'll learn what the PSP AudioWare Lexicon PSP42 is, how it works and why it will be great for you. Hi, I'm Marlon of White Nose Studio. The PSP42 is the emulation, the digital version, the plugin version of the renowned Lexicon PCM42 delay from the 1980s. So how does the PSP42 work? First, let me click away this section, we'll get into this in a few minutes. A delay is a delay, and you expect certain controls because of that. It starts with the ability to set the delay time. And on the PSP42 you can do that by dragging on the time display and by pressing these arrows. Now's the time. Take a moment you can of course use either milliseconds or note values, which are synced to the tempo of your project. Now's the time. Take, Take a moment. moment. I... Gotta catch it before it passes on by. The delay time of the original and this plugin can almost be up to 29 seconds, which is insanely long. This delay time depends on the sample rate of your project. And for instance here, in this 48kHz project, I can get up to just over 19 seconds when I press the delay times 2 knob here. This times 2 knob also changes the character of the delay sound a bit. So follow me. So follow me. And either character can work well for your audio. If you say delay, you also say feedback, and here it is on the PSP42. So the feedback can be low passed with the high cut switch. So follow me. So follow me. Both feedback and delay can be phase inverted as well, and it can change the sound of the delays, like you can hear here with the feedback phase inverted. So follow me. So follow Pressing RPT will give you this infinite repeat. These are outside the normal delay loop and only repeat that audio when you press RPT. It's a cool little effect. Now on to input and output. The input, when you turn it up, will affect the harmonics, so the overtones which are added by the PSP42 for the dry signal. You can use this to add some richness to the incoming audio if you want. It's very neat. The PSP42 has these screaming red knobs over the right. And they are fun. These are modulation controls. Manual will provide you with an additional way to adjust delay times and it sounds different than directly changing the delay time here, because of how this works. Good for effects and to automate in your DAW. You can automate this in the plugin as well with the VCO. The waveform dial will blend between sign, envelope follower and square. Depth control will change the amount of this pitch modulation. And the more depth you dial in, the less the manual control will have an influence. Rate sets the speed, but you probably figured that one out already. If you set the mix to fully wet and dial in a little bit of depth, you get a sort of tape warble effect. Very nice to bring some life to entire mixes or to a static synth pad. Memory. 
a little cool note on the envelope follower. This one can be set to react to side chain input. This opens up interesting modulation options. With this VCO section and in combination with very short delay times, the PSP42 can create chorus and flanging type effects as well. Now we can finally take a look at the extensions. Reference first. This one sets a reference level and this one affects sound in a big way. All the way to the left you can drive the unit into saturation and limiting. And all the way to the right you can get ADDA converter noise, just like on the hardware. The sensitivity switch adds on top of that. Minus 10 dBV will drive the internal saturation and limiting more than the plus 4 dBU setting. By default the plugin has this full processing switch engaged. This emulates the Lexicon PCM42 ADDA converters which had a sound to their own and adds a bit of pitch drift. That means it will add subtle changes to the pitch. You get 4 in total of these processing switches. Legacy adds tape saturation. Limbs enables an analog opto style limiter and clean will give you a squeaky clean sound if you need that. In addition to the simple high cut switch here, you can set the cutoff frequency in the extension tabs here. The behavior of the delays can also be changed. Forward and backward can best be seen as a tape delay. These two result in a slightly different delay behavior. Reverse is fun because it will reverse the audio in the delay before it gets in the feedback loop. Bounce combines normal and reverse delay. To round it off, you can invert the envelope follower. And you can turn on sync for the modulation, which is absolutely something you want. Face lets you offset where the LFO starts. And this only works when you have enabled sync. You can see you have a lot of options and control with the PSP42 and if you feel uninspired just dive into the presets. They are clearly laid out by type of effect and you are bound to find something which will inspire you. The PSP AudioWare Lexicon PSP42 has everything you expect from the Studio Classic and more. Don't hesitate to check out the plugin by using the link in the description of this video.